classical music tends to keep away loitering teens, but this group of kids is sticking around on a Saturday morning and for a noble so cause. I'm here at the McLaughlin Library, where organizers are partnering with Vibe Arts, a charitable organization aiming to promote arts education. The students range in age between 10 and 17, and over the coming weeks, they'll be coming together to design a couple of 4 by 6 foot murals to be displayed in TTC stations for Earth Day. The initiative is called Green Art in Action and promotes environmental awareness. Randy Rohorchuk is letting the kids brainstorm and giving them tips. Uh, anything that we can sort of transfer to the kids is really our goal moving forward. It's not just about the finished product as much as it is about helping them find their way uh, while they're doing the artwork itself. Through the work of librarians like Jennifer Clark, Oshawa's libraries offer a variety of free programming for children, seniors, and yes, teenagers. Um, for teens, we also have a teen advisory board, so that's where we invite teens to come in and let the library know what kinds of programs and events they want to see for their age range, and then we include them in creating those programs. These programs include VR experiences, robotics workshops, and creative initiatives. Through many of them, participants can earn community service hours, and Green Art in Action is no exception. If you're a teenager who's looking to get involved, this program is running every Saturday through the end of March. For Downtown Oshawa News, I'm Alistair McNamara at the McLaughlin Library.